my loves, good morning and welcome to Vlogtober. I'm in a bit of a rush, so this probably isn't going to be the welcome that I ideally visualise. Welcome to Vlogtober, it's actually not October for me yet. I'm getting a little jump start. I'm doing something really exciting today, so I thought I would vlog it and make it the start of Vlogtober. So today I'm going on a farrow and ball event. So now for my old house renovating self this is about as exciting as it gets they're releasing new paint colors i've seen the teasers on their instagram there's three greens we're looking for greens always so excited about that that looks to be a really nice pinky color too so i'm really really excited to see the colors and we're going to bournemouth for it i think we're going to the factory really really exciting so i thought i would take you along Next couple of days, it's only a little 24 hour trip. Anyway, I've got about 10 minutes to do my makeup and pack a bag. So I'm really quickly just gonna get on with my makeup. Uh, first of all though, apologies for the chaos and mess up here. That's probably gonna be a theme throughout the whole of Vlogtober because oh, we just <laughs> are doing so much stuff at the moment. It has been quite busy and trying to keep on top of this chaotic floor which doesn't fit all of our stuff anyway is a lot and as I've said also in recent vlogs you know moving out is on the horizon it's not soon but it is on the horizon so I'm very reluctant to reorganize everything but anyway I'm gonna very quickly do my makeup so I will see you again in a minute probably the next time you see me will be in Bournemouth chatting to you but we'll do a little journey hope you enjoy and we'll okay. next time. probably Nikki in Bournemouth. Got on the train, just about had my little um, packed lunch from Farron Ball. Don't worry, I will take that plastic home and recycle it. Then we got on a coach here, didn't take very long at all. And now we are here. You may be able to hear other people that are on this trip in the corridor finding their rooms. Um, very cool kind of 60s Miami style to this hotel. So I'll just show you my room quickly. But first of all, I will show you myself. So this is me, this is my outfit. I probably will change for dinner, so we're gonna go for dinner in a little bit. Um, but just got my favorite Free People Combats on, an old nibble tea, this one's in a kind of pale pink. Then my favorite vintage riding jacket and my DMs. Um, so right, so this is my room. You can see I've got a little fur and ball um, gift set i'm gonna have a look in there in a second but loving the colors a little bit of green love this print on the cushions in the chair as well and then look at that bed tonight i am going to sleep all through the night hopefully and enjoy it because whenever i spend a night away from the baby i'm always either like with my friends so we're out late and i'm sharing a bed with one of them anyway or i'm working the last time i did it i was like working really late and getting up early to work as well so 
I haven't really had like I want to say like a proper full night's sleep for a very long time and I'm very excited about going to sleep in that bed later. I've got a like huge balcony. Look at this. Let's see how do we get out here. There we go. Looks like I do kind of share it with my neighbours. You can go next door. But it's not quite the day for it but that is the sea there. So the sea is very close. Got a little cute bar here in the corner. I don't know what's in there. There's a little bit of liquid in there. And then I just had to run in and have a pee. So <laughs> I've already messed up. Oh, where are the lights? Lights? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to put my key in somewhere. Ta-da, lights. I was supposed to put my key in one of the things. Um, but here we are. Here is the bathroom. I'm also, I think, gonna have a bath in here. I am not loving baths at home at the moment. I don't really know why. It's just, it's not the right environment for them. So I think I'll have a bath tonight too. Um, although that shower head does look rather lovely. I'll probably have both. I've also got a stick of rock because if you don't know, Bournemouth is a seaside town. Well, I just pointed out the sea to you. So if you hadn't worked that one out, but in the UK, I guess you wouldn't also know maybe if you're not from the UK, but I don't know why, but like sticks of, we call it rock. It's like just candy essentially. It's just like hard um, sugary sweet in this cylindrical shape. You always get it by the seaside. I think, is it called rock because of Brighton Rock? I don't know. Right, my loves, I am going to unbox my little Farrow and Ball bag. So let's get into it. So I've got a new paint chart with the new colours in it. I'm going to have a little look at the greens. Yes, I see new greens. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited. So new paint chart. I got a set of little postcards which have British seaweeds, hand-pressed seaweeds on them. I don't think they're real, I think they're just prints. But they're very pretty. Let's have a look. Like this kind of thing. Very cute little postcards. You could even decorate with them or something. So my little note says, thank you for celebrating our new colours with us here at our home in Dorset. We're proud to have been based locally for over 75 years and year after year, we found inspiration for our colours from our beautiful surroundings. Ooh, what have we got? Right, feels like a bowl of some kind. Look at that very pretty little bowl. You could put a little jewellery in there or something. I like the outside too. OTT it says on it, and it says hot pottery product of Puglia on the back, on the bottom. I have no idea why my focus isn't working, but that is real pretty. A little cold brew coffee liqueur. I do, if I'm gonna be drinking liqueur, it better be taste like coffee. You know what's delicious? Um, and it's only just come into my life recently. I don't know if they're a recent thing or if they've just recently become a bigger trend, but a baby Guinness shot. Absolutely delicious. Doesn't taste anything like Guinness. Tastes like coffee. Very yummy. Look it up if you haven't had one. Um, I've got a little paintbrush. Very exciting. I think we've got some fire and ball paintbrushes at home as well. It's a nice little one, so perfect for the sample pots. We've got a sample. This is Selvage. I'm not sure I saw this one on their Instagram. It looks like a very nice blue. Or maybe I did. Um, it looks like a really nice kind of dusty blue. And this looks to be a candle. I'm like, do I want to unwrap this? Because it's so perfectly wrapped. Yes, I'll unwrap it for, for purposes of the video. I actually can't even get into it. Oh, my God. oh yes. Ooh, it's called Tinderbox. So we know it's going to be good for this season. It's from the Botanical Gar Candle Company. Hand, hand poured soy wax candles. We're going to have to sniff. Very autumnal. I should really be 
reading. I've got a couple of hours until we're gonna have dinner. I don't know if we're having dinner at the factory or if I have just made up the factory element of this trip. Or maybe Zach put it into my head because he thought we would have to go to the factory. But anyway, oh yeah, what I should really be doing right now is reading because I've got so much reading to do. I've got um, our second book club, like Zoom book club on Sunday and I need to finish Beta Nostra. I have obviously read it before, but I'm reading it and writing quite detailed notes just so that I have as good of a grasp as one can have on Vita Nostra. It's a pretty complex book and I don't think the answers are supposed to be easy to grasp. Um, so yes, but I can try and have as good of an understanding as possible of it. So it's taking me quite a long time to get through it just because I am writing a lot of notes and then I've also got my finally this time for real my deadline for the Sunday Times on Monday um, which has kept being put back and put back because the Queen's death and um, just their scheduling and stuff so it means that my reading for it has kept being pushed back and to be fair it has been quite a stressful few weeks slash months um, I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm feeling like I am finding a better balance with all the different things that's go that are going on. But it's definitely been a stressful time for many boring, long reasons. I'm hoping Vlogtober is not going to throw me off and instead is going to keep me on track. But um, yeah, I am feeling a little tired. The baby did not sleep well last night at all. I think she must be teething or something. Something's up with her for sure. She was very, um, even more mummy obsessed than usual yesterday. And then we had a bad night. So something's up with that little creature. Um, hopefully Zach gets on with, okay with her tonight. <laughs> I'm sure he will. So she, she woke me up a lot for milk. So I don't know. I'm feeling really, really, really tired. And all I want to do right now is dive into the bed and you know sometimes especially because I'm doing something social tonight with a lot of people I don't know I do think maybe it would be wise for me to have a little bit of sleep just so I can be you know <laughs> a functioning human being because right now I do not feel like a functioning human being and if I've said some really random stuff in the last half an hour in this vlog it's because my brain is not working <laughs> what I might do is have a little nap like a 20 minute to half an hour nap and then I'll get up and do some reading. I think that's wise, to be honest. I've got a little bit of time whilst I'm still here tomorrow morning as well. So maybe I'll get up at a decent time and do some then too. But yeah, I really need to be finishing Beaten Nostra tomorrow, really. But I'm only on page 100 and... I want to say I'm like around 150. And I think it's like 400 long. So I've got a long way to go. But I think I might need to sleep. I'm gonna lie down for a minute anyway. My back hurts, I should have brought a suitcase. I brought Zach's overnight bag and it's really nice and cool, but I forgot that I would be getting on the tube and then a train and then it was just too much carrying for me, especially in my tired state. That was unwise of me, I should have just rolled a suitcase, would have been a lot more comfortable. I don't know what the point of me saying that was. I had a point, but it's gone from me. Right, my back hurts, so I'm gonna lie down for a bit and then I'll be back with you and hopefully we'll do a bit of reading and be productive. Right my loves, before it gets any darker, this is my outfit for the evening. I know it's not demonstrably smarter than what I was wearing earlier, but at least I'm not wearing cargo pants, I'm wearing normal jeans. <laughs> um, but I'm wearing my Ray jeans, which I wear all the time, um, my Aid boots, which I also wear all the time, this um, knitted vest, which I got from Depop, one of my best Depop buys, and my Jerf Avenue blazer. It kind of fits a little bulkily over the jumper, but I'm going with it. Got my hair up because I washed my hair this morning and it did not dry well, so we've got hair up. Um, I don't often wear my hair up because I instantly get headaches. I'm a very sensitive scalp kind of gal, and I noticed that it caused a lot of my migraines having my hair up. So, but we're going, <laughs> we're going to have to go with it tonight. 
Um, but yeah, gonna head to dinner in a minute. I realized I didn't actually need a nap. I just needed like a 10 minute lie down. So I had a lie down and then I started reading my book. I did get quite a lot read, which was nice. And it was nice to just focus in like a silent room. <laughs> no, nothing else pulling my attention until I got a call from the baby, of course. I'm just so slow going with it. I think I'm just gonna have to write less notes or something because I'm moving so slowly. But also it's very small writing and it's 400 pages. So I think that's also why I'm going so slowly because the type is very, very small. So I think there's actually a lot of words. Um, but anyway, let us head to dinner. I'm excited for some food. I just gobbled some biscuits, like literally shoveled them in. I just suddenly felt ravenous. drinks at the bar downstairs at the hotel and now it is most definitely time to sleep I'm so excited I really can't be bothered to do all my makeup take my makeup off and stuff but I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna sink into this beautiful bed and I'm so excited about it so we did go to the factory <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were, but we did go to the factory. We had one drink here, then we headed to the factory and we had dinner in the factory, which was so cool. We looked at all the new colors, really, really excited about them. I got to pick a little sample part off the production line. And yeah, it was just so good to see the colors, cool to see the paint being mixed, some paint being mixed, but it was really, really enjoyable evening. So cool. I just love going in factories in general. I find them really fascinating. Um, we went to the Jack Daniels one earlier this year. That was also equally interesting, even though I'm not particularly interested in drinking Jack Daniels, <laughs> not my drink of choice. But um, yeah, just love a little factory. So it was very small as well and um, still obviously kind of very attached to its roots here in Dorset and stuff. So it was just really good to see. So that is that um a very nice evening i'm gonna take my makeup off now i found minority report on the television so i'm gonna watch that whilst i get rid of the bed um i know minority report is not the most comforting of films but um i did i feel like i watched it a lot as a child or like as a like a child uh so i find it quite comforting to watch <laughs> so i'm gonna watch a bit of minority report watch just whilst i get ready for bed and then I'm gonna sink into those sheets. I'm so excited. Probably do a little bit of reading just before I sleep just to get me in the sleepy place. But yeah, very excited. Thank you so much for watching today, my loves. I will see you again tomorrow for my trip home from Bournemouth. I do feel like I should walk on the beach, but will I be sleeping and then rushing out the door to get on the coach? 
because I've been sleeping and relaxing, most likely. <laughs>